Hey everybody and fellow gamers, this is Dalvin Jester 247 It's a quick gaming video I like to make here talking about a certain subject and that's the future of Xbox and Xbox One exclusives. Uh, to be honest, I'm really concerned with the future of Xbox because of the lack of exclusives that are being released and the quality of the, the quality of exclusives that have been released recently. For instance, Sea of Thieves. And, you know, I was even reading some things on the internet and I found some information out that games like maybe in the future, like the next Gears of War or Halo 6 might be coming on PlayStation 4. That Xbox might be selling out its exclusives to Nintendo and Play Sony itself and PlayStation. And this is really bothering me because, you know, I got an Xbox One, I put a lot of money into it, I must have purchased maybe two or three Xbox Ones in total, including the Xbox One X throughout its uh, span so far, throughout its duration. And uh, comparing to the Xbox 360 and like even the original Xbox, there are not many exclusives coming out. There's rarely a good game being released and uh, I found myself playing a lot of older games like Gears of War 4 or even Halo 5 and I I'm just really worried about the quality of these exclusives and the quantity of them because they're not, they don't seem to be coming and looks like uh, this, uh, l this uh, life cycle of this uh, gaming generation is about to end soon at PS4, uh, Xbox One era. So I'm really worried about the state of Xbox and where it's going. Um, you know, with Game Pass being released, uh, I think Game Pass is actually a good thing for Xbox One fans and users, but uh, it, they're not making much profit off this and they're not selling much great games and they're not making many more games right now and in the future. So uh, the future of Xbox is really concerning me. And uh, I hope, you know, I really think all Xbox needs to do is start making more exclusive, more good games, and they'll catch up to Sony because right now, Sony is, just, Sony is destroying them in the sales department, and Nintendo and Nintendo Switch is catching up, and it's, and it's only been released for about one year. About 75 million, I think, or 85, somewhere between 75 million or 85 million uh, PS4s have been sold, while only 35 million Xbox Ones have been sold. And like I said, the Switch has just been released for about a year, but it's already making a big, uh, it's already making huge sales and looks like it will overtake Xbox One very soon, maybe even PS4. So, uh, you know, um, I, 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 I'm a big Xbox fanboy, I gotta admit I love Xbox, but uh, I don't like the direction the, the company is heading in. Uh, the, the games lately have been so good. Yes, AAA titles look better on Xbox One X. The, 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 they're, they have better visuals now, better frame rates than the PS4 Pro. But uh, like I have a Nintendo Switch myself, and I think the Nintendo Switch has far better exclusives than the Xbox One and PS4. And I'm really enjoying my Nintendo Switch a lot lately. It's been growing on me. So uh, what, what do you guys think about the future of Xbox? Uh, will, will they make an Xbox 2 after this? Do you think Xbox is heading out of the gaming... Um, out of the gaming scene, out of the gaming industry? Or do you think uh, they're, they're slowly making plans, plans to make a big comeback? Or what do you think about their marketing ploy or uh, the audience they're targeting right now? So these are all questions I'd like to know what you think. And uh, personally, like I said, I'm really worried about the Xbox brand right now. So these are just my, these are just my thoughts. And uh, just thought, I made, just thought I'd, like, I'd like to make a little video about this, talking about this. And thanks for watching. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.